Hello everyone, today I'm here with another Disneyland Paris story time. This one is going to be about my experience with the New Year's Eve ticketed event uh, last year, which was the first time Disneyland Paris did actually do a ticketed event for New Year's evening. So you have to buy a ticket to be able to go into the main Disneyland park uh, at Disneyland Paris. I have to be honest, I would go back in a heartbeat. If you have a whole year, you can only go once in that whole year to Disneyland Paris, where would you go? I would definitely go again and celebrate New Year's Eve there. Let's just start with the story. So I was normally planning to go with my boyfriend, but he couldn't get free of work. And you know, New Year and Christmas in the kind of job he does is one each year. So one time you get Christmas off, the other time you get New Year's Eve off. But if you like rather to have one of the two of you can ask in advance. And he asked way in advance before my impulsive planning of a Disneyland Paris New Year's Eve trip. He already asked Christmas Eve off because he loves all Christmas cards with the family and it normally is on Christmas Eve, but now it's on Christmas Day. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can only ask one of the two off. So he couldn't come with me. And um, so I kind of had to get my mum with me, like pressuring it. Not. You know, my mum said, if he can't go, just book it, I'll go with you. And then in the end, she was like, eh, no, I have to go. Anyway, she went with me. She loved it as well in the end. Uh, but she's like, I'm not going this year with you. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to afford to go because of my own. It's too expensive, I think. But I'm really going to try to make it happen. Anyway, we went to Disneyland Paris. I think from the, yeah, we went from 31st till the 2nd. And, um... I'm just going to jump into the story because the 31st, honestly, we didn't do a lot of rides. It was busy in the park, which is quite normal on that day. And, you know, we've been there before, so we didn't feel like we had to do rides or whatever. So we just did kind of what we felt like and we had a very chilled day because, of course, it was going to be a long evening. So when the ticketed event started, we um, went straight for a parade spot because it was going to be the longest parade um that they ever did they made like a huge thing out of this and i was absolutely obsessed with the idea and i was like i have to see this i love parades i have to see this i need to have a good spot i need to see this parade happening because that was like my number one thing i wanted to do so that's what we did we um we went to get a spot for the parade we watched the whole parade which was amazing still my favorite i think disney experience if i yeah, I think it's one of my favourite Disney experiences ever, that parade. It was just amazing. Um, I think we didn't meet any characters because, you know, on Halloween we met we met Chewbacca and r 2 and we had, like, a, almost a whole evening queuing up for that, which meant we missed both parades. We, um, yeah, we saw the Lost Castle show, so we saw that, but, like, we didn't meet any other, per we didn't meet any other characters and we didn't, see the parade which was quite a bummer but I think it, was, it is a little bit because it was the first Halloween and it was just not the greatest plan to just like start queuing up for R2D2 and Chewbacca at the time that we did. We should have probably watched the first parade and then started queuing up but you know you learn of your mistakes so that's what happened then. So we didn't plan to do any characters because they were a little bit the same as it was going to be with Halloween and I didn't really have one jump out for me personally that I was like I really need to do that I really just prior prioritized this long parade I really want to try to catch the New Year's band even though it was playing all the time I was like you know it would be nice to do it on this evening itself but that was a catastrophe or whatever I have to pronounce that because that sounded very weird but it was just awful we went there and the queue was fine not full at all so we went in they ticked us in like on the little thing they like you know they have numbers on we were queuing there and it was like far from full like the queuing area but they start letting people in and out of nowhere they stopped letting people in they just stopped and we were like f far from in we not we were like quite close to getting in no communication nothing to they didn't tell us something at all so we thought we just had to wait a little bit and they would let us in but then people that were in front of us were going to the other doors that were like people were getting into the venue whilst we that were queuing were not so it was like a chaotic thing and we just stayed in the line like nice people we stayed in the line being confused being like oh now we froze because everyone left the line except from the people in front of us but then when they were confused and they couldn't get in in those doors anymore because of the security were being weird they came back into our line just all again in front of us because we were too nice we should have just gone to the door but of course we didn't we left the space for these people open and they just came all back in front of us and 
nothing was happening, we still didn't know anything, so it was all going crazy, and then they were not letting anyone in, so at this point was like, you know, this got a fail, but it's not, it's not the time yet to start the show, so everyone was still like waiting, hoping, then again, people were let in by the other doors, where there was no queue, and at this point, just everyone from this line that were waiting to get in, went back to all these other doors, and at this point, it was like a mass people being disappointed, not knowing what was happening, um, even me, I was like, I was so upset at the point that I was like, against the security guard, like, I just want to know what's going on, like, we've been queuing in that queue for like an hour or something to be able to see this show, and they close the door, don't tell us anything, and they just leave us there, and it's just confusing, like, I was being upset because it was just not you know, it was just not, no communication, and I'm like, I'm a bit autistic, so I think that's why I just lost my plot at that moment, but I was, I told him, because I'm, I'm that person, like, I know you can't do anything about this, but I just have to vent about it, because I'm, at this point, I'm so upset that it's happening this way, because I'm someone that is very likely to get a panic attack in this, in this kind of things, so when something like that happens to me, I'm like, shh, I'm like, what do I have to do, you know what I mean? I just don't know how to act, I don't know what to do. It's so chaotic and that is something I really am shit at handling. And I was like, oh, what do I do? So that's kind of why I went at the security guard, but I really made sure that he knew. I know it was not his fault. But then people start pushing to get in. And I was like, come on, this is not fair. Like people that were not queuing up at all have been let in and we're not let in. So what I did is I took my mum and I was like, just going to the doors as well. And it was a bit weird, but we still find a spot uh, to sit down, even though it was still started. But at that moment, I was in tears. I was like in tears because of the experience, not because, you know, I couldn't see it again the day afterwards or all these things. No, I was just in tears because this was not a Disney experience and this is something I've never, ever, ever experienced in this land before. Um, so I was, yeah, I was in tears watching that show because I was just got smacked with what happened like minutes before and I think that I'm like it's official that I have um, autism but I've never really believed in it myself but now I've been diagnosed with it and I'm studying psychology myself I find little things that I I see myself having problems with so I now can get it why I'm diagnosed with it but let's be honest I'm not the person that just really need um, extra care or something because I've been living with it for my whole life I only got diagnosed with it when I was like 18 or even older like 20 I don't know but you know I was diagnosed when I was like not a kid anymore so I've always been with the, with the problems I had, like hypersensitivity, I've always been dealing with. So the thing is, I kind of know how to deal with it. I don't know all the time, as you could see, like there I was in tears. So I clearly, I clearly didn't know how to deal with it anymore. But I think I'm that sensitive because of my autism, to be honest. But that doesn't even matter. You know, if you have it very strongly or you've, you don't have it strongly like I have, you can still struggle with it. And yeah, it can be quite challenging. So that's the thing, it was challenging. And I was so upset that I was like, I, I barely ever, ever do this. I've done it twice, I think. And I really normally go to praise people because that's who I am. I don't want to go there to moan and to be annoying because Disney most of the time makes me happy more than anything else. But at that moment, I was like, you know, we have to like make a complaint about this because this was just not normal. And the way I feel now is just not how I should feel. So we went after that show to the city hall and I told the cast member, he was like, yeah, he'll just let me like tell me my story and he was like, I know I've had more complaints already and um, you know, we can't really do anything for you like right now. He even said I think something that we could make sure that we had like good spots or something to see it again but I was like, no, no, you don't need to do that. I mean, I've seen it and we're probably not going to go for a second time. So he... Was it then that we got fast pass? Did we got? I think we did. He was like, yeah, you know, I can offer you fast passes. And me and my mom love Big Thunder Mountain, and you know that queue is always crazy. So we got fast pass tickets for Big Thunder Mountain, I think, yeah. But you know, I never really.
go to City Hall with the thing to get something from it. Never ever. I only go there when I really have had a bad experience, which has only happened tw twice of the times I've been there, which is not a lot. Most of the times I go in there to give compliments out, and even when I go to complain, except on this time, because you know this was only a complaint. Normally when I go, there was like one trip that a lot of things added up. So I was like, I have to let them know because I don't want people that come from the first time experience it like that. Like, you know, I've been there before. I know it's great. I just know I was unlucky. But imagine if someone that came for the first time to not Paris for their birthday had the same experience as I had on my birthday trip. So um, I then made a complaint, but also made uh, compliments for the cast members that really made my trip better. And honestly, that birthday trip was not the best. But... As I am someone that goes a lot, I couldn't, it didn't, like, you know, it didn't make it less good for me because I just saw the positives out of it. But I can imagine if it's your first time you spend, like, all your money on it, first time it's not Paris, on your birthday, and you had the things that happened to us, that you would be quite disappointed. But, anyway, this is not all of the story. Back to New Year's Eve. So we got a first person to the mountain. We rode that right probably before even the fireworks and it was so cold so we went to Casey's corner we sat there we drank something and uh, we waited a little bit before it was going to be midnight and then we went out to see the fireworks um, and it was amazing I loved it I so go back because I love fireworks but I'm hypersensitive and fireworks is one of the things I really love but also get really scared of. Don't ask me why, but I can't handle the sounds, the loud popping sounds. It's something that can bring me to cry and freak out in the worst case scenario. And I mean that. So that's very personal, but it's something that's true. Might be silly for a 23 year old, but it's something that really happens to me. Disneyland Paris makes me enjoy fireworks because it's not loud. The music is loud, everything is happy, and the popping is never too bad that it freaks me out. It was like a few, with the New Year's evening, but like when I just watched like Illuminations or Dreams before, I wouldn't have like trouble at all. New Year's Eve, there were like a few, but it was like just moments I was like this, like a bit like making a weird face. But if that's it for me with fireworks, that is insane. Because if I would go to a fireworks show for New Year's Eve somewhere else, definitely I would like go in my freak out mood. So I think that's also a very big plus for me that I really can enjoy something I find very beautiful and enjoy without freaking out so i mean overall our experience was good like that one thing that was the worst i probably experienced until in paris ruining my disney magic okay yeah that happened but it was only a small portion of that night and a small portion even of our trip so honestly it was amazing the day afterwards the first of january it was way 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 less busy than it was the day before so we got more done, which was amazing, because I didn't really expect that to be less busy. And the day afterwards was even even less. So I was thinking it was going to be just like as busy as the first day, like 31st, the whole time. But there's apparently a lot of people that just come for the night as well. So I'll just go for Christmas and I stay till uh, New Year's evening, stuff like that. So actually, I really recommend going with New Year's Eve to St. Paris. I really recommend paying for that ticket. I know it's a lot more money than it was last year, but I think it might be worth it. Uh, I can't say it's gonna be worth it because I don't know what's gonna be different. I can make it there, I'm gonna make it there because I absolutely loved it. So I hope this story helps you out about maybe if you're like thinking to go or do I want to spend that money on that extra ticket, yes, ticket, yes or no. I hope this story kind of helps you with it and please don't let this um, negative part in my story uh, make you not go because the the chance that that is going to happen again, especially after they've experienced it and got complaints of it, is going to be so small, in my opinion. So, I mean, um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of depends what they're going to offer you and what you're in for and what you want to pay for. But honestly, if I have the money and the funds to go, I'm off. If I have someone that I can go with or at least can be in a group with, I'm so going. But, like, I don't get anyone with me right now. Like, my mum is not coming. My boyfriend is I think again not coming because he's like we've seen from Walt Disney World so I can't afford to go to Mount Paris again. Okay fine but that means <laughs> that I have to pay the whole room and I can't. Um, I have a friend that might be coming but depends if she has to work here or no. So you know it's just a whole I don't know yet but I just loved last year's. So 
this was my story time i hope you enjoyed it i know i'm a rambler i know i talk a lot but that's just me like if you know me if you don't know me i'm shy and like you know i'm a bit on the background but if you know me if i get to know you i start rambling i, I keep talking i'm a talker so that is what this video shows i guess <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video if you really want to know my less good of a birthday trip i'm not gonna call it a bad birthday trip at all because for me i told you the good was better than you know the not that good things but if you want to start time about it if you want to know what happened let me know and i'll see you in my next video bye bye